Long ago, in an age tarnished by endless conflict, five beautiful goddesses descended upon the land. The goddesses sang mystical songs that restored peace and harmony to our broken world. The people began to worship these holy songstresses and came to refer to them as intoners. Thanks to the efforts of these intoners, the chaos of war became a distant memory. And as a result, mankind enjoyed an age of sweet reverie, basking in the newfound light in the I think you mean Intoner. She's in there! Take her down! Kill the traitorous demon! Put an end to the intoners. Zero, go! Defeat your sisters! No! You don't have the strength for this! <laughs> These puppets are no match for a dragon! Fine. Just don't die on me. Hold well on, my beloved sisters. I'm coming to kill you all. It's been a long time, Zero. Has it? I didn't notice. You haven't changed a bit. You're still insane. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. That wasn't a compliment. Hey! It's Zero! Hey, Zero! <laughs> Zero! This fighting is pointless! You have to stop! We're sisters! Oh, don't be such a prude, Four. A good catfight really gets my juices flowing. Wow. I sure am popular around here. Enough talk, Zero. This is the end. Oh, it's the end, all right. Gabriel.
finish her. You... Will... Die! Can he still have so much strength? She fled. You truly thought to kill the Intoners? Silly girl. <laughs> now, let us sing of the world's end. This is a story of six sisters. In a world protected by the power of song, The land of seas. The land of mountains. The land of forests. The land of sands. And the cathedral city. But one of these sisters seeks to bring about the world's ruin. And she won't rest until all the others are dead. The traitorous intoner is called Zero. And she has fled to the land of seas, where she heals and waits. No. No. D don't. Please, don't leave me. Michael! Damn nightmares. many times have I told you? Don't roll around in the fucking mud! out the ship from the air. Okay. I'll deal with the trash on the ground. What the hell is that? <laughs> she thinks that'll be enough to stop me? They're really rolling out the red carpet. All right, Five. Let's see what you've got.
All right, let's take care of business. Fight! It's been too long, sister. Well, if it isn't the pretty princess. So what's it like being surrounded by a bunch of brainwashed idiots? Oh, I see that long, sharp tongue of yours hasn't changed. Still so rude. Rude? But I brought you a housewarming gift. A gift? For me? Why, whatever could it possibly be? It's revenge. For what you did to me. No, oh, right. How could I forget? Back then, you were so strong it made my thighs ache. But not anymore. Michael, the greatest of all dragons, is dead. And all that remains is that pathetic little shell of his former self. Still, I suppose I'll be nice and make him my pet once I've had my way with you. Huh? Yes, that's right. You and that sad excuse of a dragon will both belong to me soon. <laughs> if you don't shut up, I'm gonna stab my eardrums with a fork. Oh, I have so missed these titillating little chats of ours. My dear, dear sister. But now it's time for you to die. Behold, the fifth song, Grand Light of Antiquity. The great power made manifest, the ceremony of glorious arrival. Burn into thine eyes the punishing lance of divine retribution. I, Dito, summon thee in my name. Manuel, arise! Ugh, how tacky can you get? If you want to kill an intoner, you gotta really make... Huh? She's dead! She's dead! She's dead! You sure loved working me to the bone, didn't you? Well, your little disciple won't be taking your abuse anymore! You're no intoner now. You're nothing. You're just a big sack of meat! I love you, I love you! What'd you love? You make me sick. You! Goddamn! Stupid, selfish, sex craze, son of a. Uh.
What was her name again? I forget. After defeating Five in the Land of Seas, Zero took Dido, her sister's disciple, and made for her next destination. The Land of Mountains, home to an impenetrable alpine citadel, governed by the chaste intoner known as Four. Fear not, for you do not fight alone. Your dragon's protection must be a welcome thing indeed. You should thank him. I'm... dreaming again. Not every dragon is like you, Michael. Unfortunately. how an intoner regenerates. This can't end until all of them are dead. It can't end. Zero. The enemy's counterattack grew increasingly desperate. And the shrine where Four was said to be hiding out was itself hidden within a massive defensive facility. <laughs> it's about time you threw out something that can put up a real fight. Come on, four's waiting. Fine. That must be four citadel there. Um, Zero, I don't think we can go in the normal way. What do you mean? Her song's putting up some kind of invisible barrier. Huh. I think she's so goddamn clever, does she? So this is where Four's hiding. Here, hop on. I'll work double hard, okay? Maybe if you didn't smell double bad, I... Zero, look out! Bad is everywhere! Bring out the hyper cannon! Kill it! Kill the dragon! Here we go again. Looks like you killed all of them after all. Why are you so bent on taking down your sister, Zero? Families are important. Dragons don't have families, and even we know they're important.
Not to me, they're not. Uh, I'm going to need a new plan. Diverted by false information regarding Four's whereabouts, Zero found herself on the hunt once more. Guided by the faint intoner presence they detected, the group narrowed their search to a snow-capped range in the mountains. It's such a good idea to yell around here. What? You scared? Figures. You disciples are more chicken shit than I thought. No, that's not what I... when this ends. <sighs> What is that? Read it. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let's see here. The jewel bearing the revered one ascends to the heavens from Mount Bernstein of the Vice Norden, leaving a silvery shadow in its wake. You want to try that again in English? What do you think it means? Your guess is as good as mine, but I know that I've definitely heard of Mount Bernstein of the Vice Norden before. Fine. We'll go check out Mount... whatever. Yay! We're going to Mount Whatever! The jewel bearing the revered one ascends to the heavens from Mount Bernstein of the Vice Norden, leaving a silvery shadow in its wake. Following the stone's message, Zero and company made their way toward Mount Bernstein of the Vice Norden. Though named for a mountain, Mount Bernstein of the Vice Norden is actually a man-made fortress located in the deepest part of the range. Feeling less than enthused by the length of the name Mount Bernstein of the Vice Norden, the group decided to refer to it as Mount Whatever instead. Giant soul. Think he's the owner of that mutt from before? Don't know, don't care. I'm sensing an intoner's presence. Up beyond those clouds. Oh hell, the sky? Never even considered that. Here, get on! Ugh, it's cold and you stink. 
But I suppose there's no choice. Hey, that hurts! Boy, those are some thick clouds up ahead. Weird. A little too weird. Zero. At last. My wayward sister finally arrives. Yeah, it took a while. All your chicken shit running around didn't help. Sit still so I can kill you quick. I... I have no wish to fight you, sister. Oh? Don't you know how much I admire you, Zero? I always have! This can't end in bloodshed, it can't! You bet your ass it can! You think I came all the way here for a fucking picnic? I'm not leaving until I've strewn your virgin guts all over the goddamn snow! You can't! You can't! You can't! Behold, the fourth song, Impenetrable Shield of Antiquity. The rare power granted to our own, the stout citadel that protects us. Cast your blighted sins upon these very skies. I, Decatus, summon thee in my name. Armorous, of whom? Time's up, Four. If you want to say a little something before you go, now's the time. <laughs> I... I won't let you harm Lady Four. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I have to kill her. N no, don't come out. Not now! Where am I? Z Zero? Four? Uh, why am I... What's going on? Where are we? Zero! <sighs> You're here! You came back! It's really you, isn't it? What happened? What about our sisters? Where are they? Everything's going to be okay. <sighs> we don't have to fight anymore, Zero. Everyone else is waiting for you. Where are they waiting? Three's in the land of forests, and two's in the land of sands. They're both- <laughs> Thanks for the info. No! I thought you were back! I can't believe you fell for that bullshit! You honestly thought I'd have a split personality?! Stupid son of a bitch! P -p Please, kill me as well. I kill my sisters. I take their men. 
Go clean up, front and rear. We meet tonight. Front and rear? So who's next? Three, huh? Two intoners down, three to go. Wait a second. Dummy, come here. Huh? Don't you look different from before? Different? Whoa! What the heck? Whoa. 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 After murdering four, Zero flew off to her next destination, the land of forests. It was a place steeped in insanity and the home of her sister, Three. Alright, it's a new day. We've got a new ship. It's time to set sail and conquer the world. We did it! We got her! We've slain the demon! Lady Three's gonna be overjoyed! Tone her down! And tone her down! Did you see that? Nailed her right in the... After all the trouble I went through to get that goddamn airship, I am gonna slice the shit out of every last one of you! Hmm. That giant tree sure stands out, doesn't it? Indeed. Perhaps Lady Three is there? Let's go. I'm gonna kill her for what she did to my airship. Um, weren't you gonna kill her anyway? Right then, off we go. The hell are those things? Trolls, my lady. A type of monster that dwells in wooded areas. <laughs> Who are you? A wise and beautiful fairy. You seen an ugly, smelly dragon around here? Ugly? But everyone who's not a fairy is ugly. Did you see him or not? Sure did. That stupid dragon is a big old stupid mess just up ahead. This must be Lady Zero. The rumor said you were uncultured and ugly, but my goodness, it reminds me of Lady Three. She was as dirty and inferior as they come. But you lot certainly match her in utter worthlessness and disgust. Where's Three? She's in the Forest Shrine. All right, where's the Forest Shrine? Oh. <laughs> If I were to hand over that information, you'd kill me on the spot. I'm not going to be making that mistake. 
I'm the Fairy King, remember? No one is more wise or clever or boundlessly intelligent than I. I'm not gonna kill you. I find that hard to believe. I, uh, promise? I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> What the? Wah! You killed him! Are you sure you should have done that? I mean, there's a certain order we gotta go through here, right? First we get information, then we run off to some place, then we get more information. Shut then... up. Ah! We'll find it if we keep walking. Move it. Yeah. Zero's impatience prevented her from learning anything from the fairies. Thus, the party was forced to wander the land of forests in search of three. Little did they know, a fearsomely powerful disciple was lying in wait. <sighs> so now we have to search the whole damn forest on foot for this stupid shrine? Cram it, and be thankful you've still got a foot to search on. My name is Okta. I am the disciple of Lady Three, Mistress of the Wood. Oh, really? That's awfully nice of you to come to me. Those goddamn fairies were starting to piss me off. All right, Grandpa, you ready to get crushed? <laughs> If you only knew the surprise I've got in store for you! I surrender. You what? I surrender. I came here because I want to join your cause. Well spoken, my winged friend. What's this? When I am open, I am not open. When I am closed, I am not closed. What am I?
That huge tree in the distance is Lady Three's shrine. To reach it, we must first navigate through the dreaded Lost Forest. Guided by the disciple Okta, the group tracked down the shrine where Three was hiding. Soon, Zero found herself before the Lost Forest, a foreboding region from which no one has escaped. Reflection. It is? Oh. We'll never. <laughs> That's not really something. about this tree. Well, as I said before, it is the shrine of Lady Three. Let's thrust ourselves inside, shall we? Damn it, what now? That was me, Zero! That was me! You can whine at me later. Okta. Please, let's put an end to this here. I don't understand. What are you doing over there? I betrayed you. Is that so? <sighs> In any case... You might want to pay a little more attention to your surroundings, hmm? <laughs> My 
My lady, you must put an end to these atrocities. You seem to be somewhat confused, Okta. A disciple doesn't choose his intoner. An intoner chooses her disciple. <laughs> Damn you! Behold the third song! Quickened puppets of antiquity! The raging demon's deathly gaze! The army of heretics that rejects the natural cycle render into ash the powers of reason and order! I, Akta, summon thee in my name! All missile, invade! Did you really think something like that would finish an intoner? What the? Did he really just do that? The dragon shows his true colors. Is this what dragons are? Ah, well. Hello there. So my name's Scent. And I was sent here by a lady too. I've come to take this horrid dragon off your hands. Wait. Ooh, sorry, out of time. I'm kind of a busy guy, see? Fact, I only had eight hours of sleep last night. If I weren't as powerful as I am, I'd likely be dead by now. And that would be a shame of epic proportions. <laughs> but listen to me go on. I'm gonna be late, and then Lady Two might get angry. Not that I'm scared of her or anything. Oh no, nothing like that. Wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea about me. Anyway... Gotta go, kids. Ta-ta for now. Mikhail... Mikhail... Mikhail! Zero defeated three, but lost Mikhail to the disciple Scent in the process. The group headed for Scent's home in the Land of Sands to try and rescue the dragon. Stop her here! Lady Two is ill! Let's show her what her cannoneers are made of! Yes, sir! Blessed be Lady Two! Nice place for a nap. No! 
They caught me! They caught me here, okay? I can see that. Zero! Help me! Yeah, yeah. God. Ah, oh dear. And here I thought you'd be smart enough to stay away. Well, I suppose that's just the curse of being a big picture kind of guy. Know what I mean? I know my own abilities, and I just expect others to recognize them as well. But I guess that's asking too much of folks like you now, isn't it? I mean, uh... Why hold people to an ideal they can't possibly meet, am I right? <laughs> this guy's really starting to piss me off. You're two's disciple, yeah? Should I kill you too? Ah, <sighs> oh, you see... Now we've gone from bad to worse. You people really aren't dense, you know that? I guess the universe simply can't help those who won't help themselves. What are you trying Zero. to- Zero. One of these days, that dragon is gonna be your downfall. And when that moment comes, it'll be too late for regrets, traitor. Send claimed Zero's dragon would be her downfall. What was the meaning behind this ominous prophecy? In search of information, Zero traveled to the ruins beneath the Land of Sands. They really are. And stick that back on. Let's see. You're wrong. There. Shall we finish this? Lady Zero, is your arm all right? It doesn't seem to feel pain anymore. Seems I'm getting less human by the day. Three down, two to go. Oh, and don't tell Mikhail about this. After decimating the enemy's base, Zero discovered documents pointing to the location of the Shrine of Sands. But the path that would take her there was a blistering hell that punished all trespassers. Finally, the Shrine of Sands.
Friends, welcome. Two. Lady Two is a tad exhausted at the moment. I, uh... <laughs> well, what can I say? I guess my physical gifts speak for themselves. You know, I actually try to make sure she enjoys our little liaison Two. just as... Lady Two is lost in her dreams right now. Perhaps you could try not to interrupt. Her mind's gone, isn't it? She wasn't fully developed. Her body couldn't handle the power of her song. Hand her over. I'll end her suffering. Yeah, I'm afraid I can't do that. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Well, of course I don't. <laughs> Duh. I mean, look. I'm just some idiot old disciple, after all. It's pretty simple, really. All I do is put my nose to the grindstone and follow orders. Speaking of which, she kinda ordered me to kill you, so... You really are an idiot. All right, milady. Open up and say, ah... <sighs> Yes, perfect. Just like that, keep it up. Behold, the second song, Great Fist of Antiquity. The blood wind storms that slash through fate, the steely hand that has sworn allegiance. Across the countless swarms of writhing death, I sent some of the in my name. Egregory, death! You evolved... again. Huh. I guess that's that. <laughs> well, a clever and handsome man like me knows when he's beaten. I suppose from this point on... <laughs> I'll be serving you, Lady Zero. You're not gonna follow two to the grave? Heavens, no. I just want to serve an intoner. I really don't care which one. After all... I'm just a big idiot, right? To conquer the enemy stronghold in the Cathedral City, Zero's group decided to stage an attack from the air. But what they found waiting for them there... was none other than one herself. The final intoner.
that piece of shit! And get that safe! Well, this is it. It's what, my lady? I won't be needing you anymore. I can handle the rest by myself. My lady, please. If you're worried about us, no. we... It's unavoidable. Disciples can't remain in human form without an intoner's power. Sooner or later, you'll disappear. So before that happens... I'm giving you your old forms back. Goodbye. Back then, I didn't know. I didn't know that defeating one wasn't the end. I also didn't know the truth about Zero and me. What you reading? Ah, Zero. It's a record of life in the Cathedral City. A record of life? Zero, don't you think it's strange? This city is said to be the origin of all magic. Spells were crafted here that even now are far beyond our abilities. Where did this knowledge go? When did we lose it? And what happened to the people who once possessed it? I thought if I studied that, I might be able to learn the purpose of intoners. Of... us. Only an idiot tries to learn about a bunch of shit she doesn't need to know. Or did you not know that? That's rather close-minded. Though, in the sense that we cannot ever truly know everything, well, I suppose I agree. Whatever. I'm about to kill you anyway. That's all that matters. So predictable. Come to me, Gabriel. You all right? Uh, yeah, but that guy's strong. He's really, really strong. Zero, get on! Let's beat him together!
Are you all right? memory. At least you'll still... You know, right, Zero? Why dragons can be reborn? Because they get a final wish. Enough! Just hurry up and... <laughs> Do it already! A dragon's wish is a deep and powerful thing. So now, I'm gonna make mine, and I'm gonna kill that dragon! What are you saying? If I use my life to wish it, then I can make it happen! Isn't that great? No! No! No, no, no! I am not letting you do this! No! One who's ready to sacrifice everything. I will protect Gabriel, even if, even if I forsake my life as an intoner. Come for me, Zero! Farewell, Gabriel. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Mikhail. It's over. Now I... <gasps> oh, 
Brother. Brother? That's impossible. You wouldn't know. You only had your five sisters. But in the same way you created your sisters, your sister one created me. I was a failsafe. In case you managed to kill her, I was her final weapon. See the sword? It's made from a dragon's fang. That means it can kill an intoner, right? I... see. You have no one to blame but yourself, murderer! I don't blame anyone. I just want to kill the Intoners. All of them. You think after all this, I intended to survive? The world doesn't work that way. She's dead. Zero is dead. One. Do you hear me? I finished off the intoners, just like you said. But what should I do now? How am I supposed to live in a world that lacks the intoner's protection? One. I see. If there are no intoners left to protect the world, then I'll just protect it myself. We'll form a new religion. A religion that worships my sister one. No, I am the true one. From this day forward, all will call me one. <laughs> I should have known this branch would also end like this. Seems like we should have taken a different branch somewhere along the way. Time doesn't always flow in a single direction. Divergence, Branch B. 
In the flow of post-cataclysm history, if a unique set of conditions known as singularities come together, splits occur in time, resulting in the multiple world divergence phenomenon. It is now April the 1st, 1000 AD. 28 days since the singularity known as Zero resumed activity. The first anomaly occurred when Zero encountered the old man known as Okta, and the forest they were expected to enter manifested in a different form. M3210 E0020 QV. Begin recording. You do that. Who's here? It's Zero. Hey, Three. I'm in a rush, so... You ready to die? <laughs> I suppose. But... Something's wrong. With the forest. Can't you hear the voices? The crying. Dear Sister One holds the secret. Up ahead, deeper in the forest. This would kill me! Well, think again! Goodness. So that's how they regenerate. <laughs> Sorry, sight. You say something? Who, me? No, nothing at all. The divergence triggered by the singularity known as Zero has led to a wide range of observed anomalies. The forest has changed and its foes are more violent, 
Furthermore, the singularity known as Two and her disciple Sent are now acting independently of one another. M3240 E0010 QV Begin recording. What is it? You've finally done? The nimble dog arises from the underworld, sounding a drumbeat from the grass. I knew that was coming. one to the forest so I could kill her but she's be careful uh. is she dead she's totally dead what the hell is going on here One. I've had enough of this. Time to put you out of your misery. Now. Do me a favor and scream real good. in the first place why did her mind decide to shatter like this I'm just a fool so how should I know but I am gonna make it right my lady I swear it this time I shall give you everything <laughs> As you wish, my lady.
Give us your blessing, Raphael. By the power of my son, I hereby forge a pact. In exchange for the life of this dragon, gods of the east, goddesses of the west, I offer up the flame of my life. You didn't know. I'm glad we met. Mikhail. Zero? Dummy, you gonna sleep all day or what? Update. By utilizing the reprogramming function of the flower, the singularity known as Zero has created a new concept known as a pact. I do not know how this will affect the future. However, I will continue to observe events as they unfold. M3250, E0970, FL. End. Recording. Divergence, Branch C, April the 13th, 1000 AD. I've observed an extremely worrisome branch. When the singularity known as Two captured the dragon, Mikhail, I detected her imposing some kind of magical influence upon him. Until now, only Zero could enact such influence. This is the first known exception and as such increases the likelihood of an unforeseen accident occurring. 
This matter must be prioritized for careful observation. M4110, E0020, DM. Begin recording. The hell is that? Ugh, I'm getting sick of this. What's wrong? What the hell is this? Then let's head to the Cathedral City. Dragons devolving? Disciples abandoning their intoners? A branch this strange merits very careful study. Ha! Update. Significant anomalies have been observed in the group of singularities centered around zero. Mikhail, meant to be the group's harmonizing factor, has devolved and demonstrated other anomalous behavior. Both the intoners and their disciples seem to be entering unstable mental and emotional states. I shall continue my investigation, keeping an eye out for any signs of a full collapse. M5110, E0020, DM. Begin recording. Get that fucking curse off my dragon! Two. You must... die. Could you die now? I mean, like, really die? Here goes! Tell us! How's this feel? Lady Two. What is this? It's a trap! Run! Was this always her plan? What divine punishment! Don't act so goddamn happy, freak! <laughs> Yes. I'm here now.
Intoners offer only pestilence to this world. Someday, they will be the disease that brings ruin to all human life. That's why you're trying to kill us. To save the world. And once you succeed in killing your sisters, you're going to finish the job. And kill yourself. And you'll use that dragon to do it. <gasps> well, you seem to know what's going on, don't you? Uh, Zero? What's she talking about? Fortunately, I suppose, I came to the same conclusion. This world has no place for us. Great. Then you won't mind dying. I know about your flower. I know it's behind all of this. And I imagine it's not going to let you die until it succeeds in destroying the world. Huh. <laughs> so it's like this, right? We're both prepared to die. But since you don't trust me to off myself, you're gonna try and kill me first. Yes. Funny. I was thinking the exact same thing. One. Abdiel, sing for me! You know this! If you want to kill an intoner, you need the power of a dragon! Find a dragon powerful enough to kill you. Mikhail. <laughs> if you're not here, then who's gonna kill me? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
stupid one. Who does she think I am? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I'll find a dragon somehow. There's still time. Update. The Intoner Zero completed her objective. However, the Dragon Mikhail has died. And Zero's mental health is in a rather alarming state. I'm afraid there's little chance of finding a solution in this timeline. As such, I recommend sealing off this branch. M5120. E0945 FL End Recording So, if this is the end of this branch, then... Wait, what? Oh gosh, I didn't lose a recording by accident, did I? And what happened to the branches between A and C? Ugh, if I screw this up, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Okay, just breathe. For starters, let's check out recording M1410E0002FL. The Land of Seas. You guys stay here. I need to go look for something. Accord. What did I tell you about barging in here? Huh? I could have sworn I knocked. Oh well. Water under the bridge. Let me guess. You're here to give me some grim warning? Yep. As things stand now, it doesn't matter what branch you go down, it all ends in disaster. Figured I'd give you a heads up. So how come you can see the future, huh? I can't tell you that. Or maybe... Hmm? Maybe you don't see the future at all. Maybe you're the one who's making it. That would explain a lot. Sorry, but I'm not that talented. I see. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Well, until next time.
All right, next up, we've got this recording from Branch B. No, not that one. That's Branch C. And that's Branch A. Come on! There we go. That's Branch B. Finally. Okay, then. Let's have a look at recording M2410E0005FL. April the 14th, 1000 AD. We were pursuing three in the land of forests, but after obtaining a vital piece of info from Scent, we decided to head back into the mountains. Battered and exhausted after following Scent like a bunch of idiots, we were forced to take shelter on a snowy mountainside. I know I've said it before, but if you don't change course soon, things are not going to end well. Is that what your little book says? Indeed. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. Sorry. So you're not going to show it to me? I've been instructed not to interfere with the world. Liar! No, it's true. But, well, nobody said I couldn't give little bits of advice, at least. What the hell are you, anyway? We're recorders. Recorders? Right. It's our job to record world events from the ancient past to the distant future. You know the old world you people are always going on about? Well, I was sent by folks from there. Listen, I don't know jack about the old world. But if you're following me just to make recordings or whatever, you can knock it the fuck off! Well, sure. That's all I'm supposed to be doing. But after all these bad endings you keep encountering, I'm really tempted to help. Now let's try and wrap things up in a way that benefits all of us, hmm? Like I need you to tell me. I can wrap things up myself. I suppose you did all right. It may not go so smoothly next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero. Hmm? Are you sure about this? Yeah. When the time comes. Bad dream? <sighs> April the 16th, 1000 AD. The Land of Sands.
everyone again. Yeah, that's the last thing I need right now. Huh? Don't you want to see everyone? You must! No, actually, I don't. I really don't. This concludes the supplemental repairs made to recording M4510E0900FL. Please ensure that such mistakes do not occur again. With this, all conditions have now been met. Now, all that remains is Branch D. The final record of the singularity known as Zero. Divergence, Branch D. A single decision can change everything. So what do Zero's decisions mean for this world? Will they bring about salvation or destruction? There is one last branch to follow, and it begins in the land of mountains. this world because once I destroy it there won't be a world to be scared of anymore <laughs> the flowers taken her over this entire world will sing for me Don't worry. Your sisters will be joining you soon enough. Hey, she's all yours. Go! Everything is ready now. Michael. The sisters are coming undone. Mikhail suddenly evolved two levels at once. In the midst of all these anomalies, Zero is heading for the land of forests. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Man, I can't wait to slaughter the next intoner. It's gonna be great! You do know I'm an intoner, too. I killed you. You dumbass. You resurrected yourself? Arise. Gal Gal than ever now. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of insane world I've always wanted. It's just perfect for an undesirable sap like me. I think I'm gonna stay here forever! <laughs> I love this new you, Five. You can do whatever you want to me. Anything at all. <laughs> Hey, Z. <laughs> Looks like your number's up. <laughs> Fanuel, arise! Egregory, dance! summoned an angel without the aid of an intoner. Gonna have to pay for it somehow. Oh, come on! That's not even fair! I finally found it! I finally found a world I can live in and truly love! Zero, wait! No, 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 no! So that's how it is, huh? I honestly had no idea. I am just an idiot, after all, right? Oh well. <laughs> There's no point in living in a world without Lady Two anyway. Now I can rest. We are recorders. Our duty is to observe. But as I continue to record the singularity known as Zero, 
I began to find myself filled with very strange emotions. Ho oh, oh. ho! So it seems disciples were always meant to be paired with certain intoners? Yep. Well, this explains a lot. So Dito and Sent reverted to their original forms as payment for summoning angels without their intoner's power. It takes a lot of energy to summon an angel. Without the power of a song, there was no way for them to keep their human forms. <laughs> well, this certainly mucks up the works now, doesn't it? And on top of that, it looks like Mikhail is having trouble restraining his appetite. You could say that. What did that Accord girl say again? It's a dragon's instinct to consume the flower? I don't think he can hold something like that in check so easily. When the time comes, I'll feed him. He can have me. <sighs> By the way, Octa. Yes? Isn't it about time you had a bath? But I thought you enjoyed my musky odor. Besides, the sweet tang of man funk really gets me in the mood. Wash up or get out. Goodness, this is quite the dilemma indeed. Really? Places like this. She enjoys high places as well, so. Redeem thyself, Azrael! Decadus, how did you get here? I had Octa give me a boost. That's kind of amazing. You appear to be in some trouble. Yeah, I can't hit this twitchy son of a bitch. Leave it to me. My angel holds the power to slow down his movements by a considerable degree. Sounds great. Get on with it. But if I use such power, I'll go back to being a bird. <sighs> Your lack of pity is intoxicating. What? You want to call it off? <sighs> you deny me this pleasure? No. I must do this. It is my reward. <sighs> <sighs>
Well, well. Glad to see you're finally interested in hearing me out. Yeah. Though you could sound a bit more thankful at least. Just start talking before I tear you apart. Ooh, scary. Fine, fine. Listen up. For starters, let's talk about your sisters, shall we? You know, the accursed sisters that you're destined to fight. Then, we should talk about how much time you've got left. The final entry in my recording draws near. No matter what conclusion awaits us at the end of this branch, I know that I will never forget this journey. So this is one's home base, is it? the whetstone one last time, my lady. <laughs> See? Even in times of crisis, my man's sword is as sharp as a witch's... <laughs> Understood. Executing code.
thought you weren't going to interfere. Yes, but this went a little different than I had planned. However, I think this way was more human, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess. Zero, please. I'm a little tired. Good night, Accord. Tell the old world. I said hi. Zero. This is it. Once the flower's in full bloom, you have to destroy it. There's one more thing I need to tell you. What? You've grown strong, Mikhail. hard. It was really hard, but... Stop repeating things. But getting to be with you, Zero, getting to eat next to you, getting to fly around with you, getting to have you yell at me, and then getting to be friends again. It was really, really fun. I'm glad. Mikhail. Yeah? It's... almost time. Okay.
night, Zero. Recording. The intoners have been sealed off in another world. The threat of the flower has been extinguished from this branch. However, the possibility exists that this seal could unravel at some time or location in the future. Until then, our recording efforts will continue. Oh, and a personal addendum regarding my observational target, Zero. Perhaps this is beyond my functional requirements as a recorder, but I cannot shake the feeling that somehow, somewhere, Zero is still alive. And that... someday... Someday, she and I will see each other again. Crazy, I know. Call it a hunch. Handover of recording duties complete. Excellent work. Well, I wonder how the future is going to unfold from here on. Huge mess for us to deal with. That was. Uh, I wonder how long well, that was that was a secret to everybody. <laughs> I hope to see you again someday, but until then, 
I'd like to say thank you for playing. Hey.